Are you tired of getting in your own way when success is right there, when it's in reach? Well, it's time to break free from the cycle of self-sabotage and finally unlock your full potential and you can do that with your mind. So in this video, I'm going to explain some causes of self-sabotage and what you can do to get around these things easily and effortlessly. My name is Alex Morgan and I help you align your actions, your beliefs, your dreams, and your thinking because success is here and you might as well be ready for it. And one of the easiest ways to be ready for it is to no longer self-sabotage because guess what? That's not getting you what you want. So there's some different causes of self-sabotage. And so let's go over those. And as I go over these, I'm going to tell you exactly what you can do to get rid of these things so you can actually achieve your full potential. Because you're listening and you and I both know that you actually deserve a lot or even more. So why don't you focus on that as you're listening? Think about something that you want to achieve as you listen. So then when I give you the solutions, the new choices, opportunities, and possibilities, you can use those to get what you want. So really, self-sabotage happens a lot because of the fear of failure. So when people often have the fear of failure, there's a few things that they do. Or maybe it's the things that they don't do. Because oftentimes when people have fear of failure, this causes things like procrastination. They're so scared to actually fail that they get stuck, they get stagnant, and they don't actually do anything. And all procrastination is, is a stuck state. So you need to ask yourself, what helps me get off that state? So if you have a fear of failure, you need to ask yourself that question. What helps me get off that state? And you'll notice that it's probably another feeling. It's something that's going to get you more towards motivation. And then you can ask yourself, what do I feel after that? And that will get you all the way towards motivation. You kind of need a bridge because procrastination is here. Motivation is here. But you need a few little stepping stones to get there because oftentimes I work with people and they tell me I, I just don't know what to do and now that I don't know what to do I'm procrastinating and when I procrastinate I really don't do anything and, and what ends up happening is I just feel so bored and then I sit there and then I do nothing but eventually whew, I'm so bored have you ever felt so bored that you feel like you just have to do something and then all of a sudden that jolt of energy that excitement all of a sudden you have that. And next thing you know, you start doing things because you're so excited. And that excitement, it leads to motivation. To where you don't even feel like you need to have procrastination anymore. And you totally forgot about being bored because you're so excited to be totally motivated. And have endless amounts of motivation all the time. So if you have a fear of failure, you need to figure out what's another state that you can feel. What are some states that you can feel that are going to cause you to take action? So that's what you need to do if you have a fear of failure. Some people, they have a fear of success. They're actually afraid to succeed. So they end up self-sabotaging themselves for this reason. And it's actually quite funny because if you think about it, why would you want to sabotage success? Because people are actually afraid of the responsibility and the freedom that success brings. And they're also afraid that if they succeed so much, that it may ruin other things that are going perfectly fine in their life. Well, there's a few different things that you can do with this. You need to understand that with responsibility comes freedom. These two things... They go together. So if you're taking responsibility on the inside, that means you're choosing to get results on the outside. And that's going to give you freedom. Because freedom is essentially not just doing what you want when you want. It's doing what you love and feeling good about doing it when you want to do it. And that will give you responsibility. That will give you that time, that money, that love, those relationships, 
whatever it is that you want. And if you're worried that success is going to sabotage the things around you, then you need to tell the people around you how important this success is for you and show them that when you achieve your goals, that you're also going to celebrate with them. So instead of having a fear of success, you can set up your experience towards success in a pleasurable way. Because if you're going after success, but you have fear over here, eventually that fear, it's going to be like a magnet. It's going to bring you right to it. However, what if that fear wasn't there and instead it was pleasure going towards the success? It would be a totally different experience and you could have success that much more easy, could you? And then when you get to that success, you can reward yourself and you can reward all the people around you that helped you achieve that success. So if you have a fear of success, it's important to design your environment and this includes telling the people around you how important this is and how you want this to be a pleasurable experience for all of them. And you want to be motivated towards success so everyone can feel good. Tell them it's going to be something that makes everyone feel good. It's going to bring everyone closer together. That's the whole goal. You don't need to think of it as fear. You need to think of it as success and make it really pleasurable for you. The other thing that people do to sabotage themselves, a lot of times it's unconscious beliefs. So these unconscious beliefs, I've talked about these in other videos, these are not necessarily your fault. A lot of these beliefs you picked up from the ages of zero to seven when you were walking around like a little sponge. Your unconscious mind was just soaking up everything. Or sometimes you even have these beliefs from stories that have been passed down to you genealogically. Or maybe you even had these from past lives. Who knows? It's all just a metaphor in your mind. It's just a story that you keep telling yourself. However, why would you want to have stories in your mind that are telling yourself that you need to sabotage yourself from getting what you want? What if you could put in new stories and that's exactly what you can do so with each of these beliefs once you know what they are let's say i'm not good enough you can ask yourself when did i decide to create this then you're in that event and you can ask yourself what can i learn from this learning which will easily and effortlessly allow me to release the self-sabotage and then you can say what can i do instead and think of new choices opportunities and possibilities that you have i've touched on this a lot in other videos so I'm going to just touch on it briefly here. And the next one is perfectionism. This is another thing that people do to self-sabotage themselves. They try to do everything perfect. And notice the word try. Because really you either do something or you don't. Because if you try, guess what? You're not actually going to achieve something. So people that try to do things perfect, it often brings things like burnout, anxiety, stress, overwhelm, frustration, irritation as well. So instead of trying to do everything perfect and feeling all of those things, what if you had new choices, opportunities, and possibilities? So what I suggest is you go for excellence. So what does that mean? Excellence essentially means doing your best every single day. And that doesn't mean it's going to be the same every day because every day is going to bring new choices, opportunities, and possibilities. Every day you're going to put in different efforts in your mind and in the physical. Every day you're going to have new thinking. So maybe some things that used to take you longer, you can do much more efficiently now. So if you focus on doing the best you can and doing whatever it takes, you're not even going to think about self-sabotage because you're taking small actions. Because remember in the beginning of the video, fear of failure, procrastination, stack state if you're thinking of things in an excellent way you're doing whatever it takes you're taking action you will never procrastinate so those are four common things that cause self-sabotage 
If you have any of these things and you want help with them, you can reach out to me. All my information will be in the description of the video. Thanks so much for watching. If you haven't already, go ahead and like the video and subscribe to the channel. And I do really, really, really appreciate all the support I've been getting. Thank you for all the comments, the suggestions, the recommendations on what videos you want to see. It really helps me just keep going and making them every single day because you deserve it. If you're tuning in, you deserve it and you deserve it even more. Thanks so much for watching and hope to see you on the next video.